Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video and first off, I just want to talk about the fact that something very tragic just happened. I was taking some selfies, well this was after I took some selfies, but um, I accidentally knocked over one of my studio lights. Needless to say, the light bulbs broke and right now I'm just hoping that I don't die from inhaling whatever it is that you can die from, from inhaling light bulb stuff. So. That happened, so I'm filming with only one studio light right now. I filmed a makeup tutorial for this makeup look. It is holiday inspired. So if you guys would like to see that, I will put a link to that on screen right there. So today I'm just gonna be filming kind of a more talky video because I haven't sat down and talked to you guys in a while. I've been posting a lot of vlogs, and before that I posted like two makeup tutorials, so I haven't really gotten a chance to sit down and talk to you guys. So this is gonna be kind of an update slash favorites video. I am going to be doing another favorites video probably sometime in January I'm gonna be doing like a yearly favorites I think and just to kind of talk about the things that I enjoyed throughout the year of 2014 and also kind of a year wrap up of like what the year was like and stuff like that this is some coconut oil it is extra virgin organic coconut oil and I got it off of Amazon and I was using coconut oil a couple of years ago but I wanted to try to start using it again because I just felt like my hair was not looking the way that I wanted it to look and not doing the things that I wanted it to do basically so I wanted to try out coconut oil again and I decided to get it off Amazon just because it's a little bit more cheaper than buying it in stores I've been really liking the coconut oil I've been using it a lot lately I am planning on doing an updated hair care routine sometime soon hopefully we'll see when that actually happens um, but yeah I've been really liking coconut oil it's been making my hair real nice the next thing is also a hair product, and it is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. Now this one's the strong version, but I actually like the moist version a little bit better. I know people don't like the word moist. I like the moist one better because it's more moisturizing, and I like the smell of that one better, but this one is good too. Um, it's really inexpensive. It's basically a deep conditioner, and I actually use it for co-washing. So I wash my hair at least once a week and I co-wash maybe twice a week depending on like what I'm doing or if I actually keep up with maintaining whatever hair style I have. I really have been liking that. It's been great for co-washing. It makes my hair so soft and I really like the smell of it. Chris likes the smell of it too and it's really inexpensive too so I just get it from Walmart. I also have been quite enjoying fuzzy socks. These are some super duper long ones. I got these from Target and they're just really comfortable. It has been really cold in Tennessee lately and we don't want to pay astronomical. I've never actually used that word before. Is that even, am I even using that in context? Probably not. I don't want to pay extremely high prices for heating and also our heat doesn't really work very well and we're too lazy to get maintenance to come and fix it even though we had them come to fix the garbage disposal the other day but that's more dire but we've just been using like space heaters and stuff in the rooms that we're actually in my feet get really cold or my like extremities my fingers and my toes mainly my feet get extremely cold and I just decided to get some fuzzy socks to keep my feet warm and I have some other ones too but these are just my favorite because they're super long and they cover up my hairy legs not that I need to cover them up because I just really don't care anymore and then another favorite is this tea I actually just recently started drinking it I got it a couple of days ago but it is the private selection passion fruit and papaya black tea a blend of black tea orange pills and natural flavor now this is caffeinated um, I usually drink caffeine free tea but since I've been working at Starbucks um, I have had like a little bit of caffeine here and there and it hasn't done anything crazy to me so I've just been you know drinking uh, caffeinated tea and stuff in moderation I also feel like caffeine doesn't affect me as much I don't know maybe I just haven't gotten the right type of caffeine but um, I drank like green tea one day and I didn't feel like I was awake I just felt 
I just I just felt the same. I really like how this tastes. I really don't like green tea. I hate the aftertaste that green tea leaves in my mouth. So I figured I'd try out a black tea. And I was gonna get the Tazo version of their passion tea, but it was like a dollar more expensive than this one. So I just decided to get this one. And it tastes really good. I actually have some brewing on the counter and I'm going to drink it in a little bit. So some kind of random things. I actually meant for this to be like my favorites for November, but since it's already almost January, <laughs> I'm just gonna talk about a few things. About a month ago, we saw Big Hero 6, which is an animated movie, and it was seriously amazing. It was so good. It was so good. It touched my soul in many different ways, and if you guys haven't seen it, I highly suggest it. The next movie we're probably gonna see is Annie, because that's coming out on Christmas, I think. The movie that we watched was Electric Children, which was on Netflix, and it was basically about a girl. They kind of seemed a little bit Amish, um, and they kind of, they like lived on their own. Words, words are escaping me right now. They lived on their own kind of land and had their own like town and stuff like that, and they believed that this man was god or jesus or i don't even know okay but basically she listens to this music and believes that she's been impregnated by the music it honestly didn't really make any sense and it didn't really kind of go in a full circle being like this is where it starts and this is where it ends you know it explains everything it didn't really do that so you kind of had to figure out things for yourself and i like movies like that you know it kind of leaves things up to interpretation um and i really liked it i thought it was a pretty good movie so if you guys want to check out a kind of weird ish movie on netflix um you should totally check that one out it's not actually that weird there are much much weirder movies on netflix nymphomaniac just saying chris and i have been obsessed with Gossip Girl. Um, I think he's a little bit more obsessed with Gossip Girl than I am. I remember watching Gossip Girl with my sister. He said that when he watched the first like few episodes, he wasn't too sure about it, but now he's like always like, hey, you wanna watch Gossip Girl? I'm like, okay, I guess if we have to again. The next thing would be my tapestry or our tapestry, which is on the wall in our bedroom. I love it so much. We got it from Earthbound uh, Trading Company. They have a store in downtown Nashville and they also have a store at Opry Mills Mall. But I love that store. It is seriously my life. I love it so much. It's the most beautiful place I've ever been in my entire life. The next thing I have is a book, which I actually didn't finish, but it is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I believe that's her name. And it was so good. I didn't get to finish it before I had to return it to the library. So I'm going to have to get it again and, you know, actually finish it but it was so good from what I read I read fangirl probably like the month before I started reading landline and I really liked that as well another thing that I keep forgetting to mention in all of my favorites videos is this speaker right here this is literally the best thing ever you basically just plug it into any device that has an area to plug it into it's like you know the headphones of your iPhone or whatever and $15 if that at Walmart he has this little groove right here where you can place your phone slash iPad and listen music or watch whatever you want to watch and Chris and I watch movies on my computer and we like to plug it into there just so the sound quality is you know just like banging and stuff like that and I like listening to music on it when I'm cleaning and stuff and yeah I just really really I really like this speaker and I keep forgetting to talk about it so I just wanted to mention it. My last two favorites are actually lotions. The first one is a Vaseline brand lotion. I think it's like Ultra Repair or something like that. I have gotten really dry hands. My hands are really dry all the time during the winter time and it's really annoying and also because I'm washing dishes a lot at work and just using my hands a lot. Literally put it on at night and the next day my hands are like butter. Well, not like butter, that would be kind of weird. Um, and then the other lotion is actually a baby lotion and it is the Johnson & Johnson. It's like the um, lavender sleep 
Time lotion and I really like it. One, it reminds me of my nephew because that's the lotion that we used when my nephew was staying with us. And also, it's really good for my sensitive skin. It's really moisturizing because I do have pretty dry skin, but it's not like crazy fragrance or anything to where it'll irritate my skin because I do tend to be a little bit sensitive. Um, I've also been liking Vlogmas, not only watching Vlogmas videos. My favorite Vlogmas videos are probably Megan Rosette, Marissa Lace, and some memes Jess, they're probably my three favorite Vlogmas videos. And then we've also been doing Vlogmas. We've just been vlogging whenever we are doing something interesting or something Christmas related. And I'm actually going to be uploading another video soon. Something else exciting that happened was, um, if you don't know, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is like my favorite Christmas movie ever, the one with Jim Carrey, not any of the other ones, okay? Um, it is so Good. I love it so much. I watched it and I wanted to watch it again. And then um, I guess something else that happened was I got engaged. Was that this month? Yeah, that was this month. That was in December. So that happened and um, we don't have a date or anything set for a wedding, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. We're definitely going to try to film it, um, but we're not positive how we're gonna do all of that and all that jazz. It's kind of stressful to think about right now, especially during the holidays, so just trying to kind of get through this without, you know, um, completely losing our minds. It's really exciting, it's really crazy. I'm going to be a wife. So that's a thing. So basically the last like two months or so I've been really busy when it comes to work for both of us. Um, that's why I haven't been filming as many videos and also I was sick basically the entire month of December. We only recently started getting better so that really sucked and also was a factor in why we couldn't or why I couldn't film any videos and stuff so it was really annoying. But hopefully this upcoming year I will be filming more and doing more videos and stuff like that. Just doing more things that I actually enjoy doing. Pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any other videos you guys would like to see down below. I do really, really, really want to do a winter lookbook. Um, I think I have about until like uh, February to get a winter lookbook done because it'll still be like kind of winter time. Would you care if I filmed in front of a Christmas tree after Christmas? Because I don't. I want to keep the Christmas tree up all year long, but you know, Chris is not as okay with that. So leave down below any makeup tutorials you guys would like to see in regards to New Year's Eve and any parties you guys might be going to or anything. And I can definitely do that for y'all. Did I just say y'all? See you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. I love you and I missed you guys. Bye.